Wix Anchors Tutorial. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how simple it is to add an anchor and also how you can manage them. So all you need to do is to follow the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you will be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to visit Wix.com. Once you have visited the website, you need to connect to your account. After you have connected your account, uh, in my case, I have used a, a Google account instead of a regular email and also a password. So after you have did that, you will see here the sites dashboard. If you don't see here a website, you will be requested to uh, create a new website. So how we can do that, you're going simply to click on create a new site and you are going then to set up uh, the uh, Wix editor or the standard Wix editor from there then you are going to select your uh, favorite templates and also the name of your website now with this apart you are going to see the website so i'm going to visit my website it is among these sites that i have created when you click on it you will see right there a uh, let's say wix from there uh, this is the wix dashboard of that specific website so you can go ahead and uh, set the payment methods if you are owning a store and also the shipping profiles. So when you finish all of these, you are going to click on design site. When you click on design site, it will pop up the Wix website editor. As you can see here, we have our website fully loaded. This is a template that I have uh, found on the Wix library of uh, themes and templates. So uh, here we have a lot of options. We have a preset menu and also navigations. We have presets, uh, for example, this uh, section and this one for the maps also. This is a uh, very, very uh, creative from Wix to set up um, some themes and also templates like these. Now let's go to the main subject, how we can add anchors. It is really easy to add an anchor. All you need to do right there is to select the horizontal menu or the main navigation. Then you are going to click on manage menu from there. Now we have the site menu. As you can see here, we have all of the elements from there that are cited from here. So how we can add an anchor, we are going to set add right there, click on add menu item. And then we are going to select anchor. So click on anchor and then you are going to create it. So for example, how to add an anchor to the page. So let's say that I'm going to add a uh, anchor to this specific page. How we can do that? You're going to click on add elements from the left side menu right there. Then you are going to search for menus and anchors. This is the anchors right there. Or as you can see here, we have the menus, but here we have the anchors. So we have a lot of anchors. For example, this is a page menu, also anchors. Go ahead and set them, for example, into this testimonials box, for example. And you can go ahead and set them as, let's say, Q and A's. So I'm going to add another section for there. And we are going to add an element. Uh, the section that I want to add is going to be blank. Here we are going to add a blank section. So we're going to add an anchor right there. So we are going back to the menus and anchors. I'm going to add anchor one, for example, like this. Make it a little bit bigger. And here we have it. So the next thing is to go back to the uh, main navigation and i'm going to add an anchor right there go ahead add an anchor i don't want to add uh, this one but okay please go ahead i don't want to see that so we are going to add a menu item as an anchor and then what do you want to link to here you can link a page an anchor to a page a section or an anchor or whatever you want from this menu. Let's say that I want to uh, uh, here set uh, this to a section or an anchor that I have created. So we are going to see here we have the testimonials. I'm going to search for it. So, so here check availability. 
this section I'm going to see here what do we have for this section so we are going to search for that specific one where is our anchor I don't see it so I think that uh, here it is and uh, here the entitled so we are going to name it here anchor anchor one for example here we have it so we are going to put that back to the pages and now we are going to set the anchor link to the anchor and for the uh, section i have named it anchor one so we are going to click on done and we are going to see it right there so this is the anchor one or the name of the section that we have uh, created all we need to do is to save the modification and then once saved you're going to click on this specific section i'm going to click on preview and then we are going to see how it will work so it will guide you when you click on anchor one directly to that specific part on the website and here we have it so back to the editor right here instead of creating an anchor if you want and if you make uh, if you want to make it more simpler you can add a menu item and instead of anchor you are going to click on link and this link you need to set up for example to a section or an anchor right there we are going to set up the anchors all of these are anchors as you can see so we are going to set up anchor and if you don't have an anchor right there it will let you here create an anchor or a section so for example if you want to create an anchor for there we are going to set the name of it as anchor 12 so here we have it you can enter an anchor url so this is the anchor as you can see we're going to place it right there for example like that and boom so go back to the pages and menus we have the uh, link of the anchor one i'm going to see here if it is added anchor one anchor one here we have it so we can differentiate them by setting them as or selecting the name of them for example 12 I'm going to rename that. So anchor 12 like that. And here we have it. So I'm going to click on save again. Then we are going to see the part of the preview. Here we have the anchor 12. As you can see, it is a line. So let's say that we are going to set the anchor and it will take take us to that specific line where it will be guiding so it will be uh, used as a uh, let's say here a pin to set up the um, uh, the saved location of the website that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one